The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the first letter of St. John. And whatever we ask, we shall receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do what is acceptable to him. His commandment is this, that we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and that we should love one another as he commanded us. Whoever keeps his commandments remains in God, and God in him. And this is the proof that he remains in us, the spirit that he has given us. My dear friends, not every spirit is to be trusted, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets are at large in the world. This is the proof of the spirit of God. Any spirit which acknowledges Jesus Christ come in human nature is from God. And no spirit which fails to acknowledge Jesus is from God. It is the spirit of Antichrist, whose coming you have heard of. He is already at large in the world. Children, you are from God and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are from the world, and therefore the world inspires what they say and listens to them. We are from God. Whoever recognizes God listens to us. Anyone who is not from God refuses to listen to us. This is how we can distinguish the spirit of truth from the spirit of falsehood. In our responsorial psalm, is taken from Psalm 2. I will proclaim the decree of Yahweh. He said to me, you are my son. Today have I fathered you. Ask of me and I shall give you the nations as your birthright. The whole wide world is your possession. So now, you kings, come to your senses, you earthly rulers. Learn your lesson. In fear, be submissive to Yahweh. With trembling, kiss his feet, lest he be angry. In your way, come to nothing, for his fury flares up in a moment. How blessed are all who take refuge in him. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew. Hearing that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he went and settled in Capernaum, beside the lake, on the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people that lived in darkness have seen a great light. On those who lived in a country of shadow, dark as death, a light has dawned. From then onward, Jesus began his proclamation with this message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. He went round the whole of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of disease and illness among the people. His fame spread throughout Syria, and those who were suffering from diseases and painful complaints of one kind or another, the possessed, epileptics, the paralyzed, were all brought to him, and he cured them. Large crowds followed him, coming from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and Transjordan. The Gospel of the Lord.